good afternoon a warm welcome to everyone today we are going to see about inheritance in java first of all we should know what do you mean by an inheritance inheritance is nothing but one class acquiring the property of another class that is suppose if one class has one property then other class it doesn't need it is not necessary that the other class should also have the same property it can simply it can get from its super class that is just like what how we are getting the characteristics or some basic things from our parent one class can acquire the property of another class this is called as inheritance inheritance in java is achieved with the help of the keyword extends that is we use the keyword extend to extend one class now we consider this example in this example my class name is super class super i am having another class with the name sub that is class sub extends super so this line means that i am using inheritance okay the keyword extends mean that that is this means that the subclass extends the properties of super class okay that is the way we are using inheritance now we will move with the sample code for inheritance that is here i am having a class named calculation that is i am having a class named calculation and inside the calculation i am having two methods one is addition and another is the subtraction here in the main class you see the word class my class extends calculation this means that this class acquires the property of that class that is the class my calculation extends the properties of calculation okay so here i am having one method that is multiplication here i am doing in the, in that method it performs multiplication so this means that my calculation acquires the properties of all the three that is it includes addition subtraction and multiplication that is by basically it has only multiplication since it extends the calculation class it acquires the properties of the calculation class that is the methods within the calculation can be accessed by the my calculation class what are the methods inside calculation addition and subtraction inside my my calculation i am having multiplication since i have extended i can use all the three methods that is the use of inheritance you see that is here we have given we have created an object for the class my calculation then with that object i have accessed the base class that is the which is the base class calculation is the base class that is the that is i have printed the answer for both the addition subtraction and also for multiplication this is how inheritance works okay now that is this is the explanation of how the classes acquire the properties of one class okay so we use the keyword super or this to denote the parent class the parent class will always be denoted by the keyword super or this okay then then we will see what are the types of different types of inheritance that is we are having some four to five types of inheritance now we will see each of this in detail okay so consider this diagram that is i am having single inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance multiple inheritance in addition i am having hybrid inheritance so the first one is single inheritance suppose if there are only two classes if one class acquire the property of another class then it is called as single inheritance in the example given above you see we are having two classes class a class b if class b acquires the properties of class a then it is called as single inheritance okay second is multi level inheritance that is multi level inheritance is that is the level will be more i will be having more than one level so in this example you see i am having three classes class a class b and class c here class a acquires the properties of class b class b acquires the properties of class c that is they have given wrong it is class c so so class c have the properties of both class a and class b this is a multi level inheritance okay then the next one is the hierarchical inheritance as in the hierarchical order you see class b acquires the properties of class a and class c also acquires the properties of class a that is if both the classes acquire the property of one class then it is called as hierarchical inheritance okay 
then the next one is multiple inheritance this is just opposite to hierarchical inheritance in the case of hierarchical inheritance i will be having only one base class and i will be having two subordinates in the case of multiple inheritance i will be having two subordinates and those properties will be inherited by the another class that is called as the multiple inheritance that is class b in this case acquires the properties of both class a and class c this is the multiple inheritance okay right in apart from this we are having another type of inheritance that is um hybrid inheritance that is a hybrid inheritance is nothing but it is a combination of one or more inheritance that is if a single inheritance and a hierarchical inheritance combined okay or if a multiple inheritance and a multi level inheritance combined or any other combination of any inheritance it is called as a uh hybrid inheritance okay so now we will see the example for this class that is for single inheritance you see i am having class a class b public class a i will declare a class as you know variable that is a class is a combination of members and member function okay so i am having a class as public class a so uh, in that another class i have declared as class b what i have given public class b extends class a that is the class b extends the properties of class a so this is an example for single inheritance in the second case you see class a acquires the properties of class b class b acquires the properties of class c class a the properties of class a is acquired by class b and the property of class b is acquired by class c so i have simply declared class a then class b extends class a and class c extends class b this is what an inheritance it is a multi level inheritance next hierarchical inheritance that is both class b and class c extends class a so in this example public class a i have declared class b class b extends class a similarly class c extends class a okay then the last one that is class a is simply there class b is simply there they have given wrong that is i have to it does not support multiple inheritance java does not support multiple inheritance usually multiple inheritance in java is not possible it is achieved with the help of interface multiple inheritance that is usually in c++ it is possible this type of inheritance that is multiple inheritance is possible in c++ whereas in the case of java it does not support multiple inheritance multiple inheritance in java is achieved with the help of interface then what do you mean by an interface an interface is like an class but it consists of abstract method and final fields that is an interface that is extends class name we will giving here also like interfaces also we will be using in the same manner okay that is before that we will use the keyword interface okay all right then so now we will see an example for the inheritance and 